The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 9 a.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures trading lower. The Dow down by 96. The Nasdaq's off 122. The ES mini down 21 points. And the Russell down 8. You've got gold, uh, which is basically flat right now, trading at 1841. Silver's off uh, 10 cents. You've got light sweet crude trading out at uh, 85.17. That's off 40 cents. And the 30 year treasury up one point and four ticks trading out at one. 5519. Now, what does all this mean out here? Well, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. You'll see an A to B equals CD to the downside. It has achieved the 1.272 expansion level. The next price target to the downside would be the 1.618 area, and that's at 43.58. Now, because you've got A to B equals CD patterns to the downside that have at least completed or at least gotten to that first level, any bullish reversal candle that were would to form would generate a buy the D point and suggest a rally and that rally would take us to the oscillator and change lines i don't have those shown on this set of charts you've got the spot politics well above its 50-day expenditure moving average that's always a bearish directional signal for the s p 500 uh the nq it's uh, i've shown you uh, there's a couple different a to b equals cd down patterns out here uh this one would say that price needs to go hit the 14502 area uh before it would uh, confirm or generate the, the the first price target out there uh but nonetheless if there were to be a bullish reversal candle today um, that would uh, signal uh, at least a uh, at least a buy the D point. Now, what's really important to take a look at both those charts. And I apologize that on the NQs the monthly ch uh, lines are yellow, and on the ES mini the monthly or the weekly charts I should say are green out there. But here's the deal: price is trading below the weekly profiles, and those are changing trend signals. So if we do get closer below those this week, meaning the end of the day out here, that's not going to be a good signal for the equity markets. With regard to the U.S. dollar index, it's got a nice uh, bottoming pattern in here. And as long as price holds the top of its daily profile, which is at 95.50, price should continue to move higher out here. Uh, gold has got an A to B equals CD upside to the 1861 level. And as long as price remains above 1833, that's a likely outcome. The next price target for silver is 25.29. Light sweet crude has got support at 83.20, resistance at 87.10. Natural gas sitting right at support. That's the bottom of its daily profile out there. That's at $3.00 and 66 cents out there. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll look forward to seeing you again on Monday morning. Take care.